Hi, my name is Matthew Pierce. I'm a software engineer. And today I'm going to show you a program that outputs a number of letter occurrences in a text file. Now, I've decided to write this program in Java because I think Java, Java is a pretty neat language. It's got a lot of features that are pretty powerful and it do, does a lot of work for you so you don't have to work too hard at doing these things. If I was to write this program in, say, C, which is the native, that's my first language of, of programming, it would take a lot more lines to uh, program it. But we'll use Java. So if you see here, I've got a program that I wrote in the uh, Eclipse IDE in Java. In the program over here, there is, uh, at the top, there's a lot of stuff that uh, are just kind of utility things to get a file name and whatnot and keep you know, plugging away at it until it gets what it wants. But the real meat of it is right here in this while loop. I get a file to open, and then I say right here, while in file, has next. Now, has next uh, you know, returns true if there's a, another token. And basically, while I'm not at the end of the file, it's going to um, continue to grab uh, you know, data out of it and process it. So what I do is, in this loop, this is a while loop, again, it runs until I run out of data, and it grabs a string or token. Basically, it's, it's going to grab uh, the first non-white space delimited string of characters out of there. And then uh, what I do here is I just echo it to the uh, console so you know what it's working on. And then I have a for loop. And I do this for loop is for the length of that string so that every character in that string, I'm going to look at it. And then what I do is I grab the character out at the, at the index that I happen to be looking at. And if the character is a letter, meaning that it's, it's, it has to be a letter, it can't be a number or punctuation or things like that, if it is, then I change it to lowercase because I really don't care whether it's an uppercase or lowercase letter. I just want to know if the letter is being used. So I, I switch it to lower and then I have uh, this thing here. It's a table, which is a, basically what it is, is a hash table. And a hash table uh, is an associated uh, data, you know, uh, data structure that has key value pairs that are associated within it. And so what it is is you use one piece of data as the key to find a unique location in the table and then the value you write the value for that key and so what i'm going to do here is this for every letter is going to be a key into the table and the value is going to be the number of occurrences so it's, it's pretty simple so what i do is i i pull the character out turn it to lowercase and then i look in the table and right here i use the character as the key to key into the table and then what i do is i look into the table and i see if there happens to be a value already in there, so meaning I've already seen the letter. If I haven't seen the letter, the value is going to be null, and you can't do anything with null other than assign a value to it. So what I want to do is I want to increment the value in there. So what I do, this is a trinary operator right here. I go, if, the, uh, if there's a number in there, then I return it. Otherwise, I return zero. You know, so if, if, it, if there's no number in the table for that key, it's going to return null. I don't want that. I want it to return zero, then I'll add one to it. So basically what that does is every time that letter gets, you know, I look into the table for that letter, I look up its value and I see how many times it's occurred and add one to it. If it hasn't occurred any times yet, it's going to be null. So I'm going to say uh, we'll use zero instead of null. That's what I'm doing there. And I just loop through until I have the entire, uh, you know, text file uh, figured out. I, I, I count all the characters in it. Then when I get done, what I do is I allocate an array list. Now, I allocate an array list because it's got some pretty nifty little uh, methods in it that allow me to do some sorting and whatnot. So what I do is I allocate an array list, and what I do is I, I take the array list and I fill it up or initialize it with the keys uh, that were from that uh, hash table. Now, the keys um, are not in alphabetical order in the hash table. The hash table doesn't allow ordering. You don't know what the order is you're going to be getting out of it. But that's where I use the uh, the uh, sort function because the array list is part of the, it's a, a, a subclass of the collection. So I use the class function sort and I can sort the key list, which is great. Now I have an alphabetical order. And then I have a for loop. And for every key in that key list, I go back through the table and spit out the number of occurrences. So what I'm, I've got is a simple, just a little text file here. This is a file of text. And um, I'm gonna, I've got it set up so that my program's already waiting for that to be input. So I run it, and there it goes. It parsed it, 
and it spit out, you know, this is the, the strings that it parsed, and it spit out the number of occurrences of every letter in that file. So you can see all the output there. My name is Matthew Pierce, and today I showed you how to create a program that outputs the number of a letter of occurrences in a text file. Thanks for watching.